Okay, let's get into the subject of homicide. And initially I thought, well, maybe I should lay out the four different levels of homicide and sort of detail. But I think what's important right now in understanding sort of this opening lecture is to kind of get a sense of why is homicide divided up into four different parts? Well, why is it divided up into four different parts? What is homicide? Homicide is an unlawful killing. And so if someone has killed someone else, well, they have to be punished. And if they're going to be punished, the level of punishment should be commensurate with the criminality of the offense. What, what, do you, what does that mean, the criminality of defense? What it means is if I want to intent, if I intentionally kill someone and I'm thinking about it and I'm premeditating it, then I'm a pretty dangerous person and I should be punished to a great degree because we don't want those kind of people in our society. But if I think to myself, you know what, I don't really want to kill this person, but I want to go tell this person off. And then the person, you know, I get into an argument and all of a sudden I freak out and I kill them. Well, I didn't think about it ahead of time, but I may have created a situation that could lead to an unlawful killing. So I should be punished, but not as much as someone who's premeditated it. And so as, with that as background, the way you should understand there's the four levels of homicide is essentially it's four different levels of criminality that leads us as a society to four different levels of punishment. And I think that's a intelligent way to kind of set up your mind to be able to think about what are these four different levels of homicide and how can I understand how they really work. Now, if you get an essay question about this, you're generally going to be asked, did the defendant commit murder or some lesser offense? Now, why do they say that? Well, because they're looking to see, do you understand that there's first degree murder, secondary murder, and that murder, generally secondary murder, can be pulled down into voluntary manslaughter because of provocation. That's what they're asking you. So while I am covering homicide, you don't necessarily need to know homicide as a general picture and then lay it out because they're not going to ask you that. But if they did, you would say homicide is an unlawful killing that can be shown through one of four levels of criminality. And here they are. First degree murder is shown through, well, let me go this way. First degree murder, second degree murder, voluntary manslaughter, and involuntary manslaughter. So if you had to lay all four out, that's how you'd open it up. And then section by section by section. So let me give you just a little bit of detail so you can start to get into it. And then the videos that follow this one will explore the subject in, you know, obviously in much greater detail. And I'll give you a great example that you can sink your teeth into to understand the way the law works. So first degree murder, how do we show that? Well, first degree murder is a specific intent crime. And that intent is shown through either premeditation and deliberateness, right? Or felony murder, first degree felony murder an inherently dangerous felony. We'll get into that in a little bit more detail in a second. Second degree murder is a malice crime and malice can be shown one of three ways. The defendant had an intent to kill this other person or an intent to do serious bodily harm to this other person or acted with a depraved heart recklessly, right? So maybe a, a simple example would be in recklessness would be someone driving down a neighborhood street at 80 miles an hour um, and the speed limit's 25 miles an hour. They didn't intend to kill someone. They didn't intend to do great bodily harm, but they smash into a child and so that's a second degree murder, right? We'll get, in, we'll get into detail in a moment on that. Voluntary manslaughter is an unlawful killing that results from adequate provocation. The defendant was provoked. You've Classic example, you go home and someone's sleeping with your husband or wife and you kind of lose it and you wind up killing the other person. You didn't premeditatively go in there, right? You didn't, you weren't acting in the course of an inherently dangerous felony. You're just coming home. You didn't intend to kill and you didn't necessarily intend to do great bodily harm. You didn't intend at all. You freaked out. And so that's the issue of provocation, which we'll find you have to show four elements to prove provocation. And we'll get into that. And we have involuntary manslaughter, which is an unlawful killing that happens through criminal negligence. And obviously it's punished at a much lesser degree than the other crimes. So again, a homicide question is going to ask you essentially to distinguish between four different levels of criminality. First degree murder, 
second degree murder, voluntary manslaughter, and involuntary manslaughter. With that as the setup, let's get into each one of the crimes.